Visa, MasterCard, and PayPal are increasing their cryptocurrency capabilities. While we wait for the current earnings report, it's a good time to review the outcomes from previous quarters. Travel constraints imposed by the pandemic, combined with the general downward trend since last year, resulted in large declines in cross-border volumes in the last quarter of 2020 for both Visa and MasterCard Incorporated. While total payments increased, debit spending increased while credit spending fell. Fortunately, because vaccination began to open economies, the quarter ended on 31. March yielded more favorable results. Visa's quarterly profit per share was 11 cents higher than expected. Revenues were also greater than predicted, indicating that some more traditional transactions aided the continued rise of online shopping. Thus, this was the ideal opportunity for both companies to ramp up their cryptocurrency engagement. Additional information regarding Visa's previous quarterly results Visa's overall payment volume climbed by 11% year over year in the quarter ended March 31st. Credit growth remained flat, whereas debit payments increased by 24%. This was a faster rate of growth than the same period previous year, when debit volume climbed by 9% and credit volume increased by 1%. The highest volume gain, 17.6%, was obtained in the United States, one of Visa's largest markets. We can only presume that the majority of Visa's customers are better off financially than they were a year ago. The decline in the U.S. unemployment rate attests to this fact. Visa chose to dive further and position itself to gain from the cryptocurrency sector's continued expansion. Visa entered the crypto universe with its first credit card that supports a crypto rewards program in collaboration with BlockFi, a platform for leveraging your cryptocurrency. Additionally, the firm revealed that it is considering using US coin to settle transactions. This should pave the way for some new relationships, all of which should generate additional revenue. MasterCard is doing the same thing with Gemini, a Bitcoin exchange based in the United States. They collaborated to establish a credit card that rewards customers with digital currency, Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies. Thus, users of this web bank issued card earn up to 3% of the purchase price, which is put in the user's Gemini account. PayPal Holdings Incorporated, a well-known financial services company located in California, has also entered the cryptocurrency space via its peer-to-peer -peer payment service Venmo. Venmo's more than 70 million customers may buy, sell, and store cryptocurrencies in its digital wallets, enabling them to pay millions of merchants with their digital assets.